What is the evidence that marijuana smoking, habitual marijuana smoking, can lead to lung cancer? With respect to the development of lung cancer, uh, we uh, found no evidence of any increased risk of lung cancer uh, occurrence in association with marijuana smoking alone. The marijuana smokers, if anything, had a reduced risk for developing lung cancer. Not a significantly reduced risk, but reduced less than a one-fold, so that means reduced. Whereas the tobacco smokers had a markedly increased risk. If uh, th those who smoked more than two packs a day had a 20-fold increase in the risk, that's 2,000%. Those who smoke from one to two uh, packs a day uh, had an eightfold risk, it's 800 percent. Um, so that contrasts with no risk, no increased risk, or any slightly reduced risk with the marijuana smokers. THC actually has an anti-tumoral effect. And uh, these are studies that were done both in experimental animals and in cell culture systems, and for different kinds of cancer for lung cancer, breast cancer, thyroid cancer, prostate cancer, gliomas, brain cancer, that the development and growth, or well, the growth actually of the tumor is, is suppressed by THC and metastases are also suppressed. So how can that be? Well, THC impairs protein synthesis and it's what we call anti-mitogenic or anti-proliferative. You need, so tumor cells don't as readily proliferate in the presence of THC. They're also uh, anti-angiogenic, so they interfere with the growth and development of new blood vessels that are necessary for metastatic spread. And they also are pro-apoptotic. What is apoptosis? Apoptosis is program cell death. So when cells age, there is a mechanism whereby the cells die uh, it's a non-necrotic death to die off the old cells and the, we get rid of them before they have an opportunity to develop mutations that would lead to cancer. So enhancing apoptosis diminishes the risk of the cells becoming cancerous. So marijuana turns out, THC rather, turns out to be pro-apoptotic. So those appear to be the mechanisms that might account for these anti-tumoral effects of THC.